everyone today we are going to finish off doing our cabbage patch babies makeover they've all had a wash so they're all nice and clean and they've all had their hair brushed and cleaned um but this one's hair was in an awful state it really was i'll try and um, insert a picture to show you but it's that really soft fluffy hair you know like the old barbies has that goes really frizzy yeah it's that sort of hair Anyway, she's got quite a complicated um, hairstyle, so I'm going to section her hair off and just put it back in its style first. Yeah, so they've all been all washed and cleaned and they've all had the hair done. Um, I actually put them through the washing machine on a cool wash, these dolls, to get their bodies clean and it, and it worked a treat, but I did then have to still give their faces a bit of a scrub because their faces still had a few marks on and I had to use some acetone to get some of the marks off their faces too. That um, band has just broken so we'll try again. <laughs> yeah so she's got like three ponytails in her hair um, and we found her a new outfit to put on so that'll be good. She's going to look like a new dolly, isn't she, Rosie? Rosie's helping me because these are her dollies, aren't they, Rosie? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And she has a... On her um, hair one tie... She's very shy. One of them's very shy, is it? Right. On her hair headband thing, she has a, a fringe. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't have a fringe in, on her head. But on her uh, headband, she has a fringe. I'll show you that in a minute. We've, Rosie and I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Didn't we, Rosie? Yeah. We've never seen that before, I, have we? I tried, I tried taking that off before. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I would have said that it didn't belong to her, but, but it was actually attached to her head with the plastic um, ties when we got her. So it, it must, it must, you know, that it must be her headband. It's... But the fringe is a different colour to the rest of her hair. Not sure what that's in aid of, but anyway. So her hair's all done, and like I say, it did take a lot of doing. And here's her headband, as you can see, with the with the fringe on it. And you can see these little ties are still on it, and they were still attached to her head. So I'm now going to tie her headband on. Ooh, yeah tie it at the back reattach it she's got some turquoise ribbon and that on a headband and a turquoise tie at the back so that's that and also i found that some of them have got like little um little bobbly bits on them so that's a head on look a headband on yeah, it looks like a pair of knickers her headband does. It looks like she's got a pair of knickers on her head. That's what Rosie said, isn't it, Rosie? And then we found her this little dress, which I think was a... I actually think it was a... Um, oh, Tiny Tears dress. That's what I think it was. But anyway, now we're going to use it for this little cabbage patch I've never girl. heard Tiny Tears. Well, Tiny Tears was a dolly that uh, was around when Mima was little, so... Maybe even, yeah, it's a very old Dolly a Tiny Tears one is. Oh, actually, it says Cor Corolla, Corolla on the dress. Yeah, it's got a Corolla label. Anyway, we found that this little dress fits her a treat. So she's inherited what that. What does they look like? Um, Meanwhile, has got one up there. I'll show you it later, darling, okay? You called Tiny Tears because you fed them and they cried. Oh, look at that. Right, so that's her. She's got a headband on. Look how much rain there is. If you saw our haul video the other day, you'll see what a sorry state these dollies were all in. And now we've, we have given them all a good clean and we're redressing them all and they're going to be beautiful. So look at that. How cute does she look? There she is, look. And she's got a little dress on and she's even got on some little booties. And I, yeah. and I sometimes do videos. You do sometimes do videos, don't you? Yeah. So that's her finished, isn't it? Are you going to put her over there, Rosie? Yeah. yeah. Who's next, Rosie? Who are we having next? 
Now this is Rosie's one that she got when she was born because it was because this dolly was made the year that Rosie was born and this is the one that's a bit shy isn't she Rosie? Mm -hmm. Yeah but she needn't be shy. Me and I'll look after her. and she's got two pigtails and she wasn't bad at all but she because she was uh, very much loved she would got a little bit grubby hadn't she Rosie? Yeah. So we've all we've done with her is just given her a bit of a freshen up she went in with the others and hey, we've redone her hair bows for her and given her a wash, haven't we? Yeah? Mm -hmm. How cute these cabbage patches. Rosie collects cabbage patches. I don't because I haven't got room to collect cabbage yeah. patches as well as all the other dollies I collect. So, But I do like them. They're cute and my mm -hmm. children had these when they were little this is why Rosie collects them because she's inherited her mother's collection of cabbage patches aren't you Rosie yeah <laughs> so she's got her hair yeah, done and Rosie's going to put her outfit on for her while I do yeah. the next one okay. right so here's but the next one the yeah you do that bit first then now this is the one that has the little um bikini on she's the one that had the gold bow in her hair so we'll put the gold bow in her hair we'll try to anyway we'll try to she's had her hair brushed and i've used some of my conditioner and water spray it's just a spray bottle fill it with warm water and put a teaspoon full of conditioner in it and just spray the hair with it and it tends to make it go back into its curl a little bit so yeah not completely but a little bit so we're happy with that. Well, at least we know she's all nice and clean. And she has got some... Um, there's doll hair everywhere because we've been brushing the hair this morning. But she's got like little bit bobbles on and all I've done is just snipped, snipped them off. Don't snip too close or you'll, you'll snip the, the fabric. But... If you just snip them, they'll, they'll come off and it does make a bit of a difference to how they look. It really does. So, yeah, and they, they're just pulls in the fabric. Or you could, so if you cut them or, too... Or, they, or, they, or you could just use your fingers. You can just use your fingers, Rosie says, yeah. Can you, babe? You can just use your fingers. But it's better to do it with scissors because then you're not making the pull even worse, are you? Mm. No, that's true. Right, so she's had her little bobbles cut off and this is the bikini one. Rosie told me it was a bikini one and I thought the other one came with bikini so yeah we had to check but Rosie was right she she very often is right you know it's me that gets it wrong yeah sometimes this one's got a hairy back because we've, we've got doll hair all over the desk sometimes I'm right and you're wrong yeah well that's why we work so well together isn't it yeah that's why we get on so well together because we we uh, complement each other, don't we? Yeah. Keep that belly button out because I do think it's adorable. And then here's a little bralette, whatever you call it. <laughs> I think it's hilarious, this little cosy. I do, honestly. I had, actually, when I was a teenager, I had a swimming cost, a bikini in these colours. I did, yeah. I loved it, but it only fitted me for about half an hour, so yeah. That was a bit of a disappointment, but yeah, I do remember having it. It was lovely, really lovely bikini, I've but yeah, like I say, it fitted me for about half an hour. Uh, there she is. How cute is she? She's all clean and I've she's done all it done. Up for my doll. She looked lovely. And she's all dressed. Let's show her then. <laughs> and then we have Rose's little girl, and she's called Shelley. She's got her original suit back on and look how lovely they all are all nice and clean these dollies were 50p and they really were filthy when i got them and then we've got this little girl now she hasn't she didn't have a bobble in her hair so i'm just going to put a little bit of ribbon in her hair um i'm going to put her a bobble in i did suggest to rosie that we turn her into a boy but rosie thought that the other dolls wouldn't like it if we did that so We've kept her as a girl, yeah. She said no. Yeah, Rosie said the other dollars are saying no to that. So. Anyway, there we go. So that's done her hair. And I'm going to make her a little dress because we couldn't find anything to fit her. The things she had on didn't really fit her very well. 
and I'm going to make her dress in a turquoise colour. I'll show you how I'm going to do it in a minute because I haven't actually, it's a, an easy little dress to make and it's one, one that I've made before for dollies and teddies. So I'm going to make the ribbon to match the dress. You got rid of your panel, didn't you? I didn't get rid of her, I gave her to Paige, didn't I? I remember. Yeah. I made her a dress, didn't I, the panda? Yeah. yeah. Right, so. There's her ribbon and we'll cut it to a more suitable size for her head. Now we've got it on her. There. And now I'm going to make her little dress. And in order to make her little dress, I'm going to do it on camera so you can see me doing it. The first thing we need to do is choose our fabric. And we've chosen this one because it's a nice bright colour and it's um, got pink. I wanted to be a princess. You wanted to be a princess, yeah. She's going to, anyway, she's going to have a pretty, pretty dress on, isn't she? Mm -hmm. And to make her dress, we need to measure the size. roughly twice around her waist for the for the dress and this is if we measure that round that's folded in half so that's roughly twice around her waist and we need it to come up as high as we can to about there like that I think and however long we want it so I think we're going to have it down to about here Right, where's my tape measure, Rosie? Can you find me Mars ruler for me, please? It should be over there by the wall near you, look. Have a look over there near the wall, darling. Can you see it on the desk anywhere? Let me, mind your arm, sweetheart, let me have a look. Here we are, here's the ruler. Right, so if we measure with our ruler, we've got down to there, because we need to make sure we need to save a little bit for the, so what we're saying, 13 centimetres, that is. Yeah, or six, yeah, five and a half inches, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is, leaving the fabric folded in half, like so. I'm a needle. Hmm? I'm a needle. You want a what? I'm a needle doll. A what doll? Oh, well, I know you want an Uma doll. I said you might get one for Christmas, didn't I? Yeah. Right, now, can you see me last pen anywhere? Right, so five and a half inches we're going to do her. So, mark five and a half inches all the way across. Be careful, please, Rosie. You don't play with scissors. You know that, don't you? Good girl. So, we're going to measure five and a half, make little marks, all the way across this fabric. This is a very easy dress to make. And it does look quite effective when you're done and you can you can um dress it up a bit too so yeah so we've i've measured five and a half inches all the way down i'm going to join up those marks like this And then what I'll do is I'll cut across there. Actually, having said that, what I need to do is make sure I add some on for the elastic. So I'm going to add an extra bit on for that. So I've measured five and a half inches and I need to measure another, on top of that, I'm going to measure another two inches because what I need is enough to fit in the elastic. So another two inches will bring us to there yeah another two inches good job i did that on the inside isn't it you can tell it's done a, done live can't you yeah so then we've cut across the fabric we'll make sure we've measured enough to thank you darling put a, make sure it's still folded double because we need it to go around her twice remember so that it will gather when we put the elastic in Here we are. Now that's the top of, this is going to be the top of the dress. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to fold it over 
leaving enough of a sleeve at the top here to put the elastic in. So let me just get my, um, yeah, I'm going to fold it over like that all the way along the top there. Actually, you can fold it down to that mark. Look, the mark you've made already. That'll be a guide for you. And then I'm going to just sew along the edge here, all the way along the edge, leaving a little bit, sew it a little bit in so that if it's, so that you don't miss the edge of it. Yeah, keep your foot, your sewing machine foot, or you sew with your hand, with your needle and thread just a little bit up so that you don't sew too close to the edge. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. Okay, so I've sewed this little sleeve all the way along the top of the fabric. All, this is just a simple little dress to make for a dolly. It's not anything special. And then we need a piece of elastic that fits around her, around her waist with a little bit to spare. So that's just perfect. Look, can you see? That fits around her with a little bit to spare. And then what we're going to do with that is... We're going to thread it through the sleeve we've just made on the skirt. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Thread it through the sleeve. Pull it through until we've got all of got it all the way through the sleeve and out the other side. This can be done by hand or machine. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could even glue it, but I'm not sure how well the elastic would stay in if you glued it. I don't I don't know. It's not something I've tried before. So I'm going to try from the other end because I think it's a bit wider that end. Yeah, I'm having a bit of trouble getting that elastic in the hole. Right, here we go. There we are. Right, so that's threading it through the sleeve all the way. It honestly doesn't take any doing at all, this doesn't. And also, this is how you would make a skirt. You'd just you make it shorter. I have got some new pins, yes. Just make sure you don't pull the elastic all the way through or you'll have to start all over again. Yeah, it won't be the first time I've done that, so... Right, so that's that, and then what we do is get the elastic to the end, can you see? Get it to the end at each side, and then we're going to sew the seam. So I'm going to pin that there so it doesn't come out. Now I've done all that, I don't want it to come out, so I've pinned that into place there like that. And now I'm just going to sew this seam, this is the back seam. Okay, so okay, so that's the we've sewn the back seam up, and here's what we're left with. What basically what we've got is a is a skirt, but I'm going to turn it into a little dress for the cabbage patch. So Rose has chosen this lace to go around the bottom, white with pink on. So I'm going to sew that on there now, and then I'll show you what else I'm going to do to finish it off. Okay, okay, so now we've We've got the top finished, we've got the lace all sewn on the bottom. I've just literally held it on and sewn it on with a straight stitch all the way around, remembering to overlap it a little bit at the back. Yeah, and then the last thing we need to do to finish off our dress is to find the middle at the front. And to do this, you fold the dress, fold it in half with the elastic join with the seam at the back, like so. Find the front at the middle, like so, and I've got a piece of ribbon, a length of ribbon to match, which I'm going to fold in half. And I'm then going to sew this piece of ribbon to the middle at the front, the middle of the ribbon to the middle of the front of the dress, just like that. Okay, so here we go. I've sewn the ribbon onto the middle, the middle of the ribbon to the middle of the front at the back, and I've Rosie's chosen a little flower to go on to cover up the stitching, and I've just hand sewn that on. 
So let's just pop it on her and I'll show you how it goes. Now, this is just for a little cabbage patch doll. So if you wanted it to be a skirt, you, would, you wouldn't bother sewing the ribbon on and you'd just leave it like that and make it a bit shorter. But we're going to make it into a dress and we've measured it so it should fit her perfectly. So it goes up here. She's going to be a princess, isn't she, Rosie? And then you can, doing the ribbon in the middle like that, you can pull it up to make it more like a dress. If you do straps over the top here, like that, you can't do that. It doesn't, because of the shape of her arms, it wouldn't allow you to pull the, the middle of the dress up. So it would just look like a long skirt. So that's why we do it in the middle. And then we can tie that behind her back like so there we are and then we can cut off the extra ribbon because got a bit carried away with that didn't i there we go and there she's all finished so she's got on her little dress doesn't she look cute and that's so they're so simple to make those little dresses and skirts are yeah so we didn't have anything to, to put on her so we made her that and she's got a little matching ribbon in her hair so she's all lovely she's all done now so we'll give you a quick overview of them all together right let's have a look Rosie so here we are here's first we've got this one in her little dress then we've got Rosie's little one who's called Shelley She's all done in her little suit. Then we've got the bikini clad one with the gold bow. How cute is she? And then finally, we've got the one that's wearing the one that, well, it, it, it was on a tiny tears, but that maybe it isn't a tiny tears dress, yeah. But yeah, don't they look lovely considering what they look like on, the, on that other video, on my haul video from the other day. Yeah, they look lovely now, don't they? Are you happy with those, Rosie? Yeah? They look lovely little dollies, don't they? Yeah? Cute! Right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll speak to you all again soon. Bye for now. Bye.